first step to my day is getting hydrated. I start every day with 16, 20 ounces of water, make sure I fuel my body, and I get to sipping. This is one of my secrets to living long, reverse aging, and getting myself going. It's called NAD. Moderately new technology in the recent, like, say past like five, 10 years. Um, I use a nasal spray. Oh. Woo! Now we're ready for the day. I have this issue, I always lose my car keys. I know where they are. I took them all to the Lamborghini. This is what we're looking for. Now, out of all the whips I have, I gotta say, is by far my favorite. A big part to my day, big part to really my discipline in life, has been keeping my fitness up. I like to run, I like to ride my bike, and before something like trading, like, or whether you're building a business or trading, I think it's important, and it's really helped me to get my heart rate going, whether it's taking a long walk, riding my bike. Um, I think riding my bike is a little more fun around, makes things more interesting. So, do this every morning. Let's get riding. So for me, fitness, working out, even things just like this bike ride are about discipline. It's about routine. And for me, when I was, when I was building up, I didn't have a lot of routine. I didn't have a lot of grit behind me. I, didn't, I wasn't in good shape. And so I found that when I wanted to build my routine, I wanted to build my discipline in trading, I wanted to build my discipline in building multi-million dollar businesses, I had to start with what I could control. And that was my body. Like I can control myself going on a run every day. I can control myself, you know, dialing on my diet every day. It sucks. It's hard as hell sometimes, but you know, that's something that I can control, that I can focus on every single day. And by doing that, it built discipline in one aspect of my life, my fitness, and kind of, it bled into others. So that's, you know, I, every time someone asks me, how can I build my discipline? How can I, you know, how can I level up when I don't really have any skills yet? It starts with your body, starts with doing what you can control and getting after it in that way. I love nature, like I love getting out. Entrepreneurship is very stressful. Trading is very stressful. And for me, like nature is like my escape. I can come and be, to a place like this, or this to ride my bike in five minutes. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever move. It's my, it's my home. This is my home. Here comes the killers. Let's ride, baby. Let's go, boys. Let's go out. We can do the victory. No. This is something I like to do every day, too. You know, hang with the pups for a sec. One of my favorite parts about this house. Kobe. Woo. Woo. I actually had some like small D1 college offers like Nebraska, like walk-on talks, South Dakota, North Dakota. I just was broke and I wanted to make money. So I didn't like, I still love basketball. I just didn't see like the, I didn't have that same like college ball vision that a lot of kids do. <laughs> he says, join team bull. He's begging you if you want to learn how to make money and trade, join team bull. Come on, come on. How are you able to wake up and just do whatever you want? I think the easiest way to answer that is a lot of years of grind, seeing the long-term vision, a lot of years of focus, and a lot of years of failing. Like, it wasn't always, hey, wake up in the morning, make $5,000 trading, and live a life of freedom. This is an example I saw the other day. Like, you see Usain Bolt run the 32nd race. You see Floyd Mayweather make the 100 million in a fight. But that didn't, that fight didn't take 30 minutes. That race wasn't 30 seconds, you know? That was years and years of dog hair all over me, <laughs> of preparation, of grinding, of seeing that long-term vision. And so now I'm at the point where, you know, I've made a good amount of money, but I like grinding. I like helping people learn. It's part of my, it's part of like my, my livelihood at this point, right? For me, like, yes, I've, I've, I've quote unquote made it from what, you know, 10 years ago me saw, but in terms of, you know, accomplishments, in terms of helping people level up in terms of helping people become millionaires. You know, the list goes on like, as Kobe Bryant once said, job's not finished. So that's, you know, that's I think the, the realest answer I can give on you know, how I'm able to wake up and do what I want. You know, go ride my bike and play with my dogs. And you know, maybe I could have woken up today and slept until 11, 11 a.m. I don't think that's happened since I was like an ignorant high school kid, but <laughs> you know, that that's the real answer. And that's like, that's the non like guru bullshit answer. All right. 
It's game time, baby. We're going to the daily Instagram live. Hop on it, IG. We're gonna come in, get the squad hyped up. Ooh. Get this damn fur off me. I love those little pooches, but I don't love all the fur they bring with them, so it's a love-hate. Get the mind going for the morning. <laughs> this is like my dojo. Like, I, I love my office. It um, brings a smile to my face. Not just because of my setup over here, but I have all my most important things to me here. I got a picture of my fiance and I. I got my Bible. I got, this is what we picked up in Hawaii. It represents some, some cool just energy stuff. Uh, one of my best friends, Noah, who passed away. I have his shoes right here. RIP Dumpster. Um, Duke basketball, signed by Coach K, John Shire, a few of my favorite players. Big, big basketball guy, big, uh, big Duke guy. Um, all the books that I've read, there's actually even more. I just couldn't fit them all on here. Um, I keep, this, this is pretty cool too. So this is something that a team bull member wrote me. He said, Jadon, I know we don't know each other, but um, there have been a few people in my life that have really changed the course of it, you being one of them. And he basically wrote me a letter of how the free YouTube's helped him, how the mastermind helped him. Um, I recently had my most profitable day and week because of everything I learned in Mastermind 3. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all you provided. So, you know, I just, I, I saw this and I was like, damn, like someone took the time to like write me a letter and, you know, make their difference known. And like, so I, I think that that's super cool. So I've always kept this here since I got this office. I'll never move it. I got my team USA basketball thing. My grandpa got me this when I was young. I got this for a baby that's gonna be here in like not very long, probably by the time you've seen this video, you're gonna, you'll have seen the baby. Uh, basketball signed by Oscar Robinson. And some cool Rolex stuff. You know, even if I were to make $200 a day, which I would be very happy with my dad, like it's 50K a year. $400 a day is 100K a year. 1K a day is 250K a year. 4K a day is a million a year, like, and it just reminds me, it reminds me consistency is key, so. That's something I keep up. I am, however, going to move this. We're gonna get the bulls rocking, baby. Let's rock, baby. All right, so first things first, you know, I got two phones. <laughs> Let's join Team Bull. So this is where we go on Instagram Live every day we get usually total viewers gets up to like over 3,000. We get over three, like not all at once, but as we go, we have over 3,000 people every day that tune in, join us for free levels, free education. You'll see some good energy and uh, get us going. Let's give, let's give them away for Team Bull. Sometimes I'll make you know, the bull and the bear go and beat each other up, or fire up the engines. What's going on, baby? What's up, wakey, wakey, future millionaires and bakey. How are we doing today? And get to the bag with y'all, man. It's, it, what a beautiful week it's been inside Team Bull. And let's get rich together. Let's go. Woo! Believe it or not, after what you just saw, I still haven't had my coffee, so you'll be surprised what you see after. <laughs> <laughs> That's without caffeine. That's just from, that's honestly just from getting up, loving my job every day, like getting to help people win. Like, like I, I, it genuinely makes me happy. So like when you get up and every day, do what you love, get to help people, get to do what you want. Like, it's just like this, like this happens. Now not every day is like, not every day I'm getting up and like doing a hundred jumping jacks and like best day ever. Like I still go through shit too. Like I still have hard days. I still have anxiety. I still have my periods of drawdown, but like for a majority of the time, like I, I, live, I live a pretty happy life. So just to keep it real with y'all, like it's not every day, like, oh, like best day ever. Like I'm human too. Like it's like all of us, you know, you don't see it a lot on social media, but. The savage goes, who? So Jada and Grizzly's live. Energy is unmatched. <laughs> that's, a, that's awesome. So we got Whipski one, learn every day Lambo. Typically, honestly, I only drive this on like Fridays and Saturdays, which today is a Friday, but only after trading. Now there is a catch. If you follow me on social media, you know my one rule. If I make over $10,000 today, I have no choice but to drive the humble Honda. That's my thing. If I make over 10K in a day, I drive the Honda. If I make under 10K, I'm allowed to drive the Lambo. So no Lambo this morning. The G-Wagon is the fiance's. And this is kind of like my, it's like my daily driver. This is what I go in. When I'm not driving the Honda, I drive this. 
Lambo once in a while, usually weekends, or you know, if I don't make five or if I don't make 10K on a Friday. But we're gonna take the May back today. Get some massages in the way. Let's go. Seatbelt on. You know, my boy and I gotta get some massages. You want hot, relaxing, hot, relaxing shoulder, activating your classic. It's massage time, baby. My favorite thing about this car is it feels like you're floating, man. Like it's like it's like almost 7,000 pounds. So this thing is like a it's like a tank, man. Which you know, it's crazy that I'm driving this. The Maybach was actually made, fun fact, for you to be made, driven around it. Like, if you look in the back seat, like, it's like, it, it, the, the room is back there, right? The, the the comfort is back there. I mean, I like driving it, and I drive my fiance, I'm gonna drive my baby around in it. All right, so this is the homie. We call him Bambi Jr. What's up, Bambi? What's up, fam? Oh yeah, that's that, that's that good, good. Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. You eat up, fam. Eat up. Build strong bones. It's sick, man. Like, I've gone over all those mountains. I've done like 15, 14ers. Mountains that have 14,000 foot elevation peaks. Let's do it. You guys are popping. You guys are popping this morning. I know. It's, yeah. It's, it's going down. Yeah. All other. Artificial sweeteners are crap. The only thing that you should be ingesting in your body, stevia on the rock. It's natural, it's solid. All the sucralose, all the saccharin, all the aspartame, no bueno. Three of these puppies in the large cold brew, game changer. That's my secret to becoming a profitable trader. Right here, this is actually all it takes. Let's get it. I intermittent fast every single day. Not a lot of people know that either. Uh, I don't eat until around noon every day. I eat my last meal around like 7 or 8 p.m. at night. I prefer to eat earlier, like 7-ish, 6-ish, but I don't eat for like 14 to 16 hours at a time. So I'm always trading hungry. I have a phrase I like, the hungry dog fights harder. And it's just something like, it, it was hard at first. Like the first, those first few weeks suck, man. Like those first few weeks suck, but after a while, you get used to it. I work out on an empty stomach. I drink coffee with an empty stomach. And yeah, it's, just, it's a lifestyle thing I adapted probably like over a year ago, like going on two years probably. And uh, I just, I don't eat breakfast, man. It's just not in my, it's not, it's not in my routine. All right, we muted this real quick. So it's important to note that when I trade, I don't trade with two screens right here. I go to my active trader. I have eight screens up. I have option contracts on this side, charts on this side. The reason I actually haven't made more money is because more monitors equals more money made, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Messing with you. No, honestly, I used to trade like with like four monitors here and like a laptop here and an iPad here. It's just like, I found that like, I have a big, and you know, I have a book on this over there I'll have to grab later, but it's called The One Thing. Multitasking, in my opinion, is a scam. If you're trying to look at too many things at once, you're gonna miss everything. So for me, I have our Discord community here where I trade, I put my trade ideas, we teach, etc. I have my charts here, and this is all, like, I want all my focus to be focused, right? I want my full attention here. If I see something here I like, we put it over here. Simple, system's done. So, you know, I, I maybe could benefit from like one more monitor, but you know, for me, it's like, I've had the eight monitors, I've had one monitor, like, and I found this is like, this is for right now, this is best for my psychology. And just like, you know, you were saying, Cam, like you keep your, you keep your charts like yellow and black, right? Because it helps your psychology. Well, this setup right here helps my psychology. Maybe that changes one day and I add another monitor. Maybe it changes and I change my whole computer. You know, I do what's best for my trading, my, for my psychology and for all the people inside Team Bull. So let's, let's, let's get focused up and uh, let's, try to, let's try to catch ourselves a nice trade. My main strategy in how I trade is volume and price action. That's it. Look, I come from a city, you hear signs when we sleep. Stay patient. All morning, I didn't think I was gonna catch a setup. We watched the team go 100% trading. That brought a smile to my face. I would've been fine not trading at that point, you know, watching the team print, watch the team do their thing. Ended up catching a baller trade. Gave the idea live in our chat, $2,100 for the day. This wasn't supposed to be in there, but as you can see, up 725K on the year, P&L year to date. You don't see many traders showing you that, if ever. And I wanna show you the trade that we took. Now, we go, you might've seen this earlier, told the team 
that I wanted, let's go ahead and find this here. I like to put some 435.5 to 436. Now it's important to notice too, before I show you how that worked out, the team was already inputs from the top. They added contracts at the very top. We go to the SPY five minute here. They added puts right here. I liked that level initially. I didn't quite have the confidence I wanted because I wanted like a 20 cent more move. Anywho, stayed patient. I didn't force trades. I saw opportunity right here. That's where you saw my message. I saw that we had defined risk from 435.6 to 436. We had 40 cents of risk. So if we could get a one to one, two to one profit to loss ratio on a solid move down, I liked this. So I took this, told the team I was taking it, caught this entire move down, ended up making $2,100 in the day. You can see there. You can also see again here, $2,000 for the day. That makes us up $10,000 just this week. Beautiful week indeed. The team went crazy today, which just like, I try not to let my my, my work, we'll call it work, it doesn't feel like it works to me and my trading affect my mood, but like, I can't even cap. Like when we have good 100% days, like I just have, I just have better days. Like it makes me happy, my workout's better, which I'm probably gonna go do next. Of course, you guys are coming with me. I eat better. It's not a $10,000 day, so I can't drive the humble Honda today, but maybe I'll take it out this weekend. $10,000 week, I think calls for a humble Honda, at least like for a little bit on a Saturday, you feel me? So. Beautiful morning, watched the team print, executed my trades, great. You know, caught solid percentages on my contracts. The team crushed by puts and let's get the day rocking. We're gonna clock out and cash in some freedom. Done trading, made a few thousand dollars, daily goal. I mean, I don't have daily goals, but solid day. Gonna go, breathe for a second. We're gonna hop out, get out, my pre-workout. I'm gonna get changed for the gym, ingest this, and then do my favorite thing of the day. Go get ripped. We used to say, what if we make it to the league? Get rich by cars, you know how it go. We were just some kids by the corner store. And hung got into the street like song. Some of us dead and some ain't coming home. But if one of us make it, there's still hope. And we can do more than just sell dope. Yeah, and take our family out of poverty. And live a young man's All right, so we just wrapped up the trading for the day. Took about two hours, $2,100 for the day just under ten thousand dollars for the week nine thousand seven hundred dollars in a week solid solid week gonna head to the gym now that's routine trade one two max three hours in the morning hit the gym pump iron and then uh, we're gonna get ourselves some some good lunch i got a spot that i go every friday to get lunch i'm gonna take y'all with me today and get uh <laughs> and get the beautiful food you guys have seen on my story so many times you guys are coming to lunch today you guys are eating Eating the, what we call the Jay Dunn special. One more rule if you're riding with Jay Dunn, we're bumping Dolph on the way. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's, it's Young Dolph in the Lambo. It's get money music. Pull some strings. Uh, yeah. The plug does my homeboy, but I love him like my kid folks. Hey. Strata, which is normal. We got Sport, which is pretty self explanatory. Sport. And then we got Corsa, which I like to call Team Bull Mode, baby. Race mode. Let's go. A hundred on the dash. Team Ball's getting cash. <laughs> so I work out every day. Like I don't. If I off days, not really in my vocab. Like I'll take a day where I just do cardio, maybe. But like I like grinding every day. I eat a really healthy diet, a lot of protein. I recover fast. So for me, I do chest and triceps together. You do chest. Think about it, you're pushing, right? Mm -hmm. so your triceps get engaged. Secondary yeah. muscle. I do back and biceps together because when you're doing back, what happens? Your biceps get engaged. Secondary muscle. I do shoulders by themselves and I do legs. The haters out there, yes, I do leg days. These puppies can put up some weight. This is like a non negotiable thing. I'm, I'm here every single day. airplane mode. No distractions. No sitting there checking your home clean sets. No sitting there scrolling. You are here to focus. You are here to not only build this, but to build this. 
Take the challenge. Vote in airplane mode. Unless you get a team more style. Pray, grind, focus. And this is the spot I come every day after my workout. Get a sweat in if I'm not already sweating from working out, which I usually am. I reflect, phone's in airplane mode, and I do as I said. I pray, I focus on what I did in the morning, and I focus in, and I reflect. I should put that in there too. How my morning went, how my training went, how I ran my business, how my mental health was, you know, all the above. And I focus on what I can do the rest of the day. So for me, this is the time of peace, you know, it's time that I focus and build me. Physically helping, sweating, mentally helping, focusing, resetting, and just having a moment and building that, again, I reference this working discipline that I have to come in, I can sit in the hot and door, focus on what I need to do going forward, reflect on what I did in the morning, and really reset to win the rest of my day. All right, future millionaires, we finished the gym, had a solid morning trading, had a solid pre-trading morning on our bike ride waking up early getting after it now we're gonna do one of my favorite things of the day go get my friday special a lot of fridays not every friday but most fridays some good grub and then do something really really exciting after that has been years in the making finally coming to life and it's happening today So this is what we like to call the J Dunn special. You start with a Caesar salad, you add on to it with the lobster bisque, and then we got this puppy. So I'm gonna go from least to best, all right? So right here, we have the Texas Kobe style Wagyu. This is raised from the ranches in Northeast Texas. Pretty good, nice and flavorful. One of my favorites. In second place, we got the Nebraska Prime Certified Angus. Now, I'm from Nebraska originally. You know I got to rock with the Nebraska. This is good. I think I like the Texas a little more, right? Looking back at it, I think I, I, I got mixed those up. This is going to be in second. Or first, this is going to be second. And the final that I need every one of you to try eventually is some real A5 Wagyu. Now, people will say they have Wagyu. People will say, oh, this is Wagyu, this is Wagyu. A5, straight from Japan, is real Wagyu. This meat right here, right? How they, how it becomes A5 is from a certain farm in Japan. These cows are massaged. They're like fed, they're, they're, they, they're given wine. They live the best life ever. They have no stress. Kind of like trading with Team Bull. Not as planned. Trading's always stressful. But these cows are like so well treated that like their meat, it's just, it just melts in your mouth. It literally just melts in your mouth. Example A. Easy. Slice like butter. Now you're probably wondering what we're doing here. What you're about to see is the first look at the potential new Team Bull headquarters, where we're gonna have all of our merch, a potential real trading floor. Now, not like a massive one, but a few different monitors, maybe some students coming out trading alongside me, the rest of the Team Bull team. We're gonna host a podcast here and finally have a spot to call our own on a commercial basis. So let's check it out. So first and foremost, we got our reception area. We've got a nice fireplace for those cold winter days here in Colorado. Nice big desk set up, probably a few trading desks here, maybe one here, one there, one there. I haven't thought that far ahead. 
but I really, I really like this initial area. You look over here, you can put like whiteboards up. We could even put something over here. Obviously we have a doorway. You know, we could have organization here, game plans, education plans and whatnot, podcast guest lists, etc. You name it. Now, if we come back here, this is, where the, this is where the fun starts. We got this big room here. Now we have a little dilemma. We have two things we can do. We can either A, keep these two rooms separate, but my thought was that I wanna knock this wall out, which the current owners are okay with. I wanna knock this wall out, which they're okay with as well, and have a massive, just team bull podcast area. We can have a round table where the team and I can come talk about market stuff, money making tips. We are officially gonna be launching Team Bull merch. It's not gonna say trading, it's just gonna say Team Bull merch for everybody. I want you guys repping something that inspires you. I want you guys repping something that you can put on and feel proud to wear. Let people know, hey, I'm gonna be a future millionaire. I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna take my fitness seriously. I'm gonna take my money seriously. I'm gonna take my motivation seriously. So we're gonna have a whole warehouse here. We're gonna come, have it stocked, maybe some other surprises too. We can deliver it in, we can finally get it going. And because that's why, my friends, that's why we haven't released merch on a full scale yet. I want you guys to have the best product. Now, I could have gone through third parties, I could have had it shipped out through third parties, but then there's no quality control. And you guys know with Team Bull, I want you guys to get the best of the best. Whether it's education, whether it's motivation, or whether it's as simple as Team Bull clothing, right? So I want you guys having the best of the best. That's always been our brand, always has, and always will be. And that's what we got coming for you very soon. I mean, look at this thing. We may even go as far as like putting like the Lord Everyday Lambo here, maybe the Hummel Honda, building a gym around it on part of it and having merchandise on the other. The, the possibilities are endless. So maybe one day you could be here catching a workout with Uncle Jay Dunn, learning some trading stuff, meeting the team. The possibilities are endless. So I'm super excited. I think this is going to be the spot. We're not 100% sure, but I think it's going to be the spot. We have like one or two more to look at. But right now, this is the top. Contender, I'm so pumped. All right, let's get it. So get us some merch. This is my happy we're getting Team Bull merch dance. Walk. What's up, Captain? What's going on, guys? How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Here to pick up some Team Bull merch. Cool, got them right here. Sweet, let's check it out. Super excited. Got some tank tops. Solid, solid. Coming to a store near you. Or a post office near you, maybe. <laughs> it's so sick. Got ourselves some merchandise, you dig? I like it. Um, I'm gonna have to try it on. I'm kind of a stickler with how things feel. It's like a muscle tee. Let's try it on. That's what I call the Terry Crews. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try it on. Oh, yeah. Dang. What do you think? Like the material's good. First things first, gotta let the squad know. Okay, so they're still chopping it up. It's four o'clock on a Friday. Market's been closed for two hours and it's still active. Like they're still hanging out and talking. That's crazy. Like that that's the family we have. That's Team Bull. You know, everyone's active, pumped, like we're a family. Get this put in the trunk. What a way to end the day. That's awesome. And so that's it, fam. This is an actual day in my life. You know, no go to the Lambo dealership. No, go spend 20K at the club. I keep it pretty simple. I do what I want because of the freedom that I've got myself from years of grind, years of failure. I like hitting the gym. I like making money. I like helping people make money. And occasionally I do like playing some Fortnite after a long day. I didn't play video games for like five years to be completely fair. I just recently have been getting my work done a lot more efficiently, found myself with some free time. That may change after baby bull. And I've been, I've been hitting the sticks again, like the old days back when I was in eighth grade and seventh grade. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's nice being able to have the, have the ability to choose what I do, right? And have the ability to, if I wanna make videos all day, I can. If I don't wanna trade for two weeks, I can. If I don't want to do something, I don't have to. If I want to do something, I can. And that's the power of freedom. That's what I want you to really think about. That's what I want you to get from these videos. I want you to get motivated. I want you to get pissed off for success. And I want you to live the life that your family is deserved and you are deserved. So that's the day in the life of a stock market millionaire. A lot of years in the making. It's not easy. But if you think you have what it takes to build businesses, to make money in the stock market, to level up physically, financially, and emotionally, hit that subscribe button, tap in with the Team Bull Forever movement, 
and let's get rich together. Until next time.